Hello, and welcome to the JWST Exposure Time Calculator. In this video, we will show you how to add emission lines to a source spectrum in the ETC. We begin on the Scenes and Sources tab and will use the default source to demonstrate this capability. Click on the source to bring up its parameters in the Source Editor pane. For this example, we will use the Flat Continuum Template Spectrum in F New Units, though you can add lines to any continuum. Now move to the Renorm tab and renormalize the continuum to 1 millijansky at 2 microns. Click Save. Keep in mind that renormalization of the continuum occurs prior to the addition of any emission features. Now move to the Lines tab. There are four parameters that must be specified for each line you wish to add. The name, central wavelength, width, and strength. We will add the bracket gamma line to this continuum, so name the line BR gamma. Set the line center to 2.166 microns. Set the line width to 200 kilometers per second. And set the line strength to 10 to the minus 16 ergs per square centimeter per second. Note that the units for the line strength are in flux rather than flux density. Now click the green Add button to add this line to the continuum. Click Save. In the Plots pane below, we see the emission feature has been added to the continuum. An important thing to keep in mind is that emission lines are added after the application of a redshift. Thus, redshifted line centers must be calculated by the user before adding them to a redshifted continuum. We can update the central wavelength of the bracket gamma line to account for a redshift by simply clicking on the line, updating the value, and clicking on the blue Update button. Then click Save. You can also remove an emission line by clicking on the line, then on the red Remove button. Click Save. We can see that the emission feature is no longer present in the plots pane below. For spectra that contain a large number of emission features, you should consider uploading your own spectrum, which is described in a separate video. This concludes the video on adding emission lines in the ETC. If you would like additional information on how to use the JWST ETC, see the links in the description for this video. Thank you.